My name is Cadence Kathir. Cadence, perfect flow of rhythm and sound. I'm not one to have many great grand adventures to speak of, but I have done my fair share of traveling outside of my home. My kind are not often taken to wars. They revere hearth and home. We build no large kingdoms, no crown leaders and or grand kings. We look to our elders for guidance. We're a joyful folk, often overlooked, which most of the time isn't as bothersome as it would sound. Something overlooked is something underestimated, and that can come as an advantage. That's something my mother taught me early. My father taught me how to play a guitar when I was a wee one, and I took to music and the way it made you feel, and the stories that were relayed. We're not a people of books and heavy tombs, but we love history and our own stories, and we relay them in song. The kingdom of Luren had been abandoned as the soil was destroyed by spellbugs, and many of my kind just went their ways into different clans without the ability to farm, well, a land cannot sustain halflings. We don't keep libraries of tombs, or stories, or kept as oral traditions. Being a bard is someone like being a historian, a librarian, or a teacher. We call ourselves Hin. Most of you will know us of halflings, which was given to us in the common tongue, because we're about half the size of humans. We often make our homes around humans. They tolerate us fairly well. I was traveling outside of Baldur's Gate, looking for a friend, a sorcerer named Tomlin who went out to help because he believed all the stories that there were evil about, a darkness, and even Githyanki just outside the gates. I've been outside the gates and never seen a Githyanki. But Tommen never came back. So I went to find him. And there, my adventure begins. Someone approaching. Who's there? Who's she? Githyanki. Where are we? Oh my god. Oh my god. I saw him. Bless her. It is a mind flare. Wretch. She's as trapped as I. Fight it, Githyanki. Fight it. No. No. No! Help! No! Oh god! We... Luke saves me! Oh!
We've crashed. The Gif. Let me out. I'm here, I'm awake. They were attacking the ship. Where are we? Gotta get out of here. Legs are unsteady. What is that smell? Oh, fire. Oh, my head. My God. I'm alive. That's a start. How to get out of here now? I have to keep going. Wait. Where are we? Dragons. Dragons. I should pick this up. Hmm, I'll take that. Anything to get off this place. Legs are coming back to me. At the very least. Do I have that thing in my head? I don't feel it. Where the hells are we? I don't feel it. A mind flare. What's in here? Dead. Good. I've been frightened before. I face bandits. And as a child, with my mother on the road, we were frightened. Here goes nothing. By a group of drow. But nothing could prepare me for the fear that a mind flayer in my body. What is that? Yeah. Oh god. How can I be in a place like this? How did this come to be? Something's speaking. These might prove useful. Get that from my brother. My brother Yorin. He'll, <laughs> he'll take the pencil out of a... There it is. He'll take the pencil out of a student's hand. What is this? Brain and jaw. I need a quick word. Good God. This poor soul. <gasps> he lives. How horrible. He lives. Yes. You've come to save the us voice. from this place. What? From this place you'll free us. How? Please. Before they return. 
They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Is this my fate? Will someone help me? Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Are you still the man? I have to hope that you are. I have to hope that you are. from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. I have no understanding of this. None. But if that man is still partial to this, I can't harm it. Pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Telepathy. Between me and the creature. Telepathy. Unbelievable. What's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. We... All right. What should I call you? Us. We are us. Us. All right then, us. Let's go our way. Could you lead me out? To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. He is dead. That may be a mercy. It is a mercy. Why? Why am I here? None of this makes any sense. Where's... Come, us. We've got to get out of here. This is horrid. The heat from the flames. Oh my god. They're still attacking. We are not safe here. I fear to feel safe anywhere. Something doesn't feel right. The hairs on the back of my head bring... Someone's watching us. It's Yankee. Domination. The same one. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. Uh. A dragon's wing. A silver sword. I know you and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. I know you. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squaw. You are no thrall. Flacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Thank you, indeed. What made you think I was a, th a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Good God. Within days, we will be geich. 
Mind flayers. No. It will turn us into... One of them? Not like the... Brick? With... No. Uh, what can we do? We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Okay. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Good God. Demons. Flying demons. Us. Help. Good strike. Survival is all that matters. So... As it should be. Excellent. I have it. I can handle it. Us. You don't have to. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Well. Now, to the helm. That's an absolute confident. <laughs> a compliment coming from a githy Yankee. I never thought anything would make me feel good in this hell. Let us go then. Dad, as quickly as we can. Let's see. Oh. That was like. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Sinewy rinds. This is organic. This ship is alive. Alive. This ship is alive. Don't waste a step. Oh god. What is this? My path be true. Get it us. Thank God. Let me out. Action, not 
direct reaction. Damn it. Looking ahead. Who is there? You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Both of us were stragglers. I'll go look for something to get it open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Another step forward. There's a room here. Curse to put my hands on everything. Give it a few moments. Just a few moments, Lazelle. We can't leave her there. Here. That was but our fate. Just a few short minutes. How many hosts of these gay infect dazed woman is trapped inside the pod? She doesn't notice you. Good God. What to do? Maybe I can get her out. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Change. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. I will not accept a fate as that. Before it's our turn. A rune. Before what? A rune. A brain in a jar. There were many machines that my father brought back during his travels. Some of them were activated with runes. Worth a try. The console appears dormant. Here. The console hums to life. Yes. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her oh like God. that other unfortunate? It may transform her. Will, will it Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirm in your head. Ugh. The parasite. Ah. Then discomfort fades, ah. and another sensation washes ah. over you. Connection. Authority. You will hear me. Open. Open. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. runs across your mind. You feel yes. sated. Yes. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. You... Oh. lurches into ah. thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed oh. with wariness, oh. because you have a gith with you. She's afraid of give you. dangerous company. Did you feel that now? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. They'll have to wait. I need to get off this ship alive first. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right then, let's go. I am Cadence. Shadowheart. One moment. Come, let's go. Finally. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. I agree with that. I picked up a key. Hope. Yes. Another brain. 
so odd. These stations. The hill. Yes. Yes. Onward to the helm. Here we go. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. Let's just fight together. Be as one. It's best for us. Use all the help we can get. God. Demons. Oh. There are mind flayers still alive. How can we defeat this? Draw. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. It means... Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect the nerves. Then... It means us no harm. It means us no harm. Strange. Time to press ahead. Helping us. How? It sees us as one of them. My God, I hate that. I will not be. I will ascend. One of those creatures. I won't. Critical miss. Hold on, Lazel. Yes. She is quite remarkable. Drop your weapon. Yes. Heading there. I am fury. I am death. So you shall be. I know how to use a bow. Need to find a way forward. So be it. Good 
Good God. Hurry before they strike. Get there, Shadow. Any weapons? Carry them on. We need everything we can get. Time to strike. I will take my pick. What? Foolish. Why would I not be able to pick it up? These boots have seen everything. Indeed. Take it down. Have it for my own. Yes. Now we will position. get out of here. Excellent, Lazel. We're going to make it. End it. Good job, Lizelle. My path be true. Take this shit. We've made it. Connect the transponder. The Helm's alien transponder. Yes. You've made it in time. Yes. Connect. Connect them. No. Oh my god. Beware! <gasps> oh no! Oh. 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 It's so close. No! 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 Oh!
As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. <clears throat> the chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. I don't know what is better. Living through that fall, Living and now my pack. with this horror in my brain. How did I, I survive? And move. I was falling out of the sky. There was no hope. Something held my. Something stayed my fall. There's more at work here than what seems. Shadow! I have something to ask. She made it. Shadow. Shadow, come. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I was hoping you might know that. But clearly, neither of us do. Perhaps it was some dramatically timed divine intervention? The divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. Though, I suppose it's not impossible. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. I agree. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. So we do. What happened to our Gith friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Geeth are rather intense. My father read me a lot of stories about them. They've been fighting the Mind Flayers for years, but I never imagined that I would witness such a battle. Words don't stay the experience. So you want to stay together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right then. Let's go. One thing, just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I was happy to. Happy to. Fresh water. Something's got to be near. Open up. Don't think these barrels are from the shipment. Shipmates. We're all mine flayers. The ship was alive. I saw no barrels. These people were killed. By our shipwreck. Oh, ye poor soul. I wish only that your loved ones not tarry, not bury, but carry you in their hearts. 
you are free. Hmm. On I go. There's bound to be a settlement somewhere along this river. Still breathing, despite everything. Wits and blades, always sharp. How much farther can I go? No, no trust, so. please. Sigh. I love you. There. I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again. And again. And keep on saying it till we're old and grey. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so is staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill, overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can, we'll make do without the rest. Don't be late, love, Anna. Very well, so. Very well. So many of them. Let's have a look. Too many of them. Too many. Don't mind if I do. Death is but a reminder of how precious life is. And how easily we forget that we're not guaranteed another day. Never guaranteed another day. Shadow, a sigil. We'll be able to return here, lest we get out of the ways. Can't get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Probably. Let's head back around. <laughs> what say you? Friendly, isn't it? What is that? Call first, call last. I won't forget your tears or your suffering. I won't forget the sacrifice. More of those wretched things. You were forced to make instead. 
We will avoid them if we can. Let's see if we can go around. I might be able to make it. My stature is... <laughs> well, you see it as it is. But I'm far more... Ah, capable than I appear. What's this? Elixir of fire resistance. Might come in handy, since everything seems to be on fire. Let's go here. If only we might avoid. <clears throat> I mean, go that way. Go. My faith will guide me. Let's How can move. I? Maybe if I just get a bit closer. I can't make it. I don't think I can make it. Your face protects me. On I go. Have a lot I on thought, my mind. I thought you were going to leave me for a moment. In it. With haste. I'm glad to see that you didn't. <sighs> so are my disadvantages. <sighs> so be it. How many of them are there? Strike could be useful. There's three of them. Damn. Be careful, Shadowheart. Be careful. Save your blade. Breathe deep and move. Ah. <clears throat> Got to press on. Good throw. Huh. Little. <laughs> Have a go at him. Uh, I put my shoulder in it, but it's rather like a pebble.
take you. Thank you. Thank you, Shadow. Always want to go for the little ones. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. As do you. Worth the rummage? No time to waste. Your study as a cleric is... Fascinating. Let's see what we have here. Thankfully, this one's no dead. Tracks, please. But who killed it? Let's have a look. These tools. That will certainly help us. Bet I can crack that open. Oh, let's get this. Dexterity. Hmm. Such a strange times we're in. I'm going to gather a few more of these. Find them useful. Alchemy is something I've studied with my father. Uh, let's go up here. What is this? Let's see if we can see anything. I see nothing. No village that way. So we'll continue on. We'll go this way then. Hey, I need some help. Wait, there's someone there. Hello. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? We can try. There. But a ball. Can you see it? I thought. <gasps> Not a sound. How dare you? Not if you want to keep that dying <clears throat> neck of You yours. have no honor. And you. Keep your distance. No need for this. Leave emergency. her be. I need her alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. <laughs> promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Shadow, don't get yourself aunt. No. <laughs> I saw you on the ship. Didn't I? No. Oh, not be questioned this way. You 
wriggling little ah! Ah! And twists looking out of unfamiliar eyes prowling dark busy streets <gasps> you try to hold the memory but it fades to the worm I know those the streets. light the fear I know those streets what was that what's going on it's the mind flayer <clears throat> it's connected us telepathically So, I'm a victim as you. We all are. You... not one of them. They took you. Just the same as me. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Glad to see we're all caught up. I would stow your blade next time and use a little common sense propriety. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I knew I recognized the streets in your vision. I'm Baldarian. Lived there enough years to remember what goes on there. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. I do know what the tadpoles will do to us. I. <sighs> You'll not like hearing it. They'll turn us in. into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it. We need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. I need to get going. But you can shelter at camp. We'll talk again later. I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. And I hate to turn down an invitation. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. I don't trust him. Astarian's an interesting find. Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. Yes. Indeed. Let's keep going. There. A mind flayer. Oh god. It's burnt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. Noted. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... compassion. <sighs> compassion? Not possible. This isn't right. You can't move. Can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve. To die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Such a villain I've never seen before. And I hope never to see again. 
I'm not one taken to anger very easily. But these things are evil. Monster. Death is too good for it. To leave it alive is far too risky. Its ties to our mind worry me. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Oh, oh. welcome rest. What is that? Seems simple enough to go over the room. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. <laughs> Ow! Oh, God. What is it? What? A hand? Anyone? Im impossible. Who are you? Just your average oh. traveler stuck between realms. Oh. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. That is strong magic. Let me see if I can quiet it down. Whatever you're doing is working wonders! Now I've Quick little pull should do the trick. All right, hold my hand. I've not much grounded. To... But... Uh, you could help a little. Uh, uh, good lord. Uh, uh, uh. Hello, uh. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. Uh, usually better. Okay. At <laughs> Are you usually better at introductions? At magic. Uh, Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. I was. Yes. How did you get stuck in that stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. Uh, so I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? To be honest, I... I haven't a clue. Fair enough. But even so, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? Couldn't have phrased it more repentantly myself, but yes, I was. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite? Are you aware that after a period of ex Cruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers. It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? Can't say as I am. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. If we were, we would have seen to it already. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites? I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? I will have you with us. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite 
halved, or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. I hope so. Friend. Friends are something we could definitely use. The more the merrier, as they say. The more the merrier. Wait, what is this? Who's the Slay Cell? You think it Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you Teeth? Oh. A guest. Your skull pounds in response <sighs> to the prisoner's <sighs> white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. She already... Oh, she already uses them. Oh, gods! You've caught a scout. The Gith invasion force. It's right behind me. Please, save yourselves. Flee while there's still time. Hells, this isn't worth it. I'm out of here. Enough gawking. Get me down. Hm. She can be quite gruff. Now that we're out of earshot, I will. But would you mind saying please? It shows some gratitude. Never. <laughs> you think you are? As I've learned them Observe. to be. Listen. You'll hear goblins you. As you say. So. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. I am cautious when cautious is required. I'm familiar with the Githyanki. What is exactly is a crush, Shazel? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. All right. We journey together, and we'll look for a crush. But we'll not abandon our search for a healer. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. So you be it. You sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind <sighs> proved its equal. Come now. Half, elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. That's a beginning, certainly. That telepathy. That telepathy between us. 
This is unlike anything I've ever experienced. I knew her name before she told me. I knew her desire to ride a dragon. Our minds touched. Our memories fused. What did she see about me, I wonder? Did she see my travelling? Did she see what happened? To my father. Broken. Must have been here a while. Should we have a rest? I'm rather tired. A Gith Yankee joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. That's good to hear. <laughs> Very good to hear. Tell me more about yourself, Gale. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of <sighs> exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Well... <laughs> so... You're rather grand. <laughs> I have to say, I've met no one like you before. But don't stop there, you must have stories of your adventures as an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? So it did. Shadowheart? Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. Understood. I understand your caution. I understand your fear. What's the story with the odd little artifact you have. I've seen nothing about it in your mind. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. All right. I won't press you. I'm not gonna press anyone. We're all a bit fragile of type. Huh. That's for certain. No one back home will ever believe this. No spell slots. A long rest is called for. <laughs> 